What's that? Hi, welcome to the Acoustic Shop. I'm taking over Jackson's Takeover Tuesday today. This is Jeremy, Taking Over Takeover Tuesday. That's a new title for that, Taking Over Takeover Tuesday by Jeremy Chapman. Um, today I'm gonna learn Sweet Child of Mine so I can teach it to Jackson. See Jackson, this is where it's supposed to go. So we'll work on that, Jackson, next week. Um, Jackson's under the weather today, so his takeover Tuesday has been taken over by me. And today we're going to talk about the special of the week. We told you we're doing a new thing where every week we have a new special, and it's kind of highlighting some of the things we have at the shop that we think are really cool or important. And one of those is humidification. And humidification is very important to your instrument. We've talked about this before. In wintertime, especially because we are worried about uh, dry furnaces. Uh, they kind of suck the moisture out of the air. But guess what? Even in summer when it's real humid outside, you're probably in an air-conditioned house, and air conditioners work by taking moisture out of the air and blowing cold air at you. So it still gets pretty dry in your house. So we really recommend humidification. We've been a huge proponent, big fan of the uh, Humidipack system from D'Addario. Uh, guess what? D these are made by a company called Bovida, who started out making these for humidors. So all you cigar aficionados might be familiar with them. Um, cool system made by Bovida where the uh, membrane of this paper lets out the optimal amount of humidity. And they can kind of set the parameters by the way they uh, weave the paper. So some of them are a higher humidity level for different products. But for instruments, we found that that sweet spot is really in that 50% range, 45 to 50%. Anything too much more than that, the instrument starts to get weighted down a little bit you lose some of the, the uh, resonance of the instrument because the wood's basically soaking up a lot of moisture. Anything below that, and they start to uh, risk uh, drying out, cracking. The, uh, the necks end up uh, having a bow to them because they're just drying out. A good way to feel that on your instrument is these frets. Uh, the frets are made of metal. Obviously, they won't shrink with uh, the air drying out, drying out the wood. But if you can feel those fret ends sticking out, normally a well-built instrument, they're going to have those uh, kind of filed right up against the neck. And if those are starting to feel like they're poking out, that means your neck has probably shrunk some, an indication that you are getting too dry. We love these, uh, Bovida, both that and the Humidipax from D'Addario, because they're kind of a set it and forget it sort of system, where you put that in your case. Uh, what I always recommend is if you keep your instrument in your case, put that in there when you pull your guitar or mandolin out to play it, close the case back down so that it's just trying to keep that one small environment uh, humidified at the right level. If you leave it open, then it's trying to humidify your whole house from these, and that's not what they're built for. They're built for that one small uh, case area. The, the cool thing with Bovida is they come with a four pack. Uh, Daryl standardly comes with a three pack. Um, so this comes with four pack, means it's gonna last longer. It doesn't put out more humidity. They all kind of stop once they've hit that optimal 45 to 50% range. They basically don't let any more moisture out once the, it's kind of osmosis. So they stop right there, but the, that means they last a little longer. So they're gonna last longer in your case. We found, uh, the cool thing about them is I found with my cases, once I've got the case environment to the right humidity level, I've got some in my Kelton case that have lasted almost a year now. Um, so they do last a long time if you're keeping that case really nice and uh, humidified and then close it when, you're, when it's not being uh, needed to be opened. This week, as our special, we're doing 10% off the Bovida, kind of introduce the product line to, to our customers. Already familiar with our D'Addario Humidipacks. We have the cool thing about it, they have the starter kit for guitar and larger instruments. That's much like to what we had before, but they also have this cool small instrument one which this works great for violin, mandolin, ukulele, banjo. You don't need as much, uh, you don't have as much wood surface area, so you don't need as much uh, humidification in those. So instead of coming with a four pack, they come with a two pack, um, and also a sleeve for those to protect the instrument uh, from, from actually the material inside the Bovida packs. And then we have the refills as well in the four pack, or over here on the uh, front checkout counter. We're selling them in singles. It does look very much like a popcorn, so don't stick this in your microwave on movie night. These are for your instruments only. Uh, that is the product of the week, is the Bovida Humidipacks. Um, we have those, uh, also we still have the D'Addario ones for people that have been fans of those. Same product built by the same company, uh, one's branded for D'Addario. We're fans of the overall system and uh, wanted to introduce the Bovida line to you guys if you're not familiar. Um, we also do have a blog on humidification. We do. We uh, have a blog that was written on humidification, why it's important, what it's doing, it's interesting, there's always stories of, well, I've owned my, my grandpa's guitar, has never been humidified, nothing's ever happened to it. Those are great stories. 
they're, they're often the exception to the rule. Having a repair shop, I'd say probably 80% of our repairs, especially in wintertime, repairs just the, the level of repairs coming in for cracks, major cracks, um, necks that are coming unglued, um, those sort of things. They happen just because the wood, there's sometimes three or four different wood surfaces on your guitar um, that are all going to shrink and let loose of their uh, humidity at different rates than the other ones, and that causes separation. When this top is different than the neck material, the rosewood or ebony may, they normally have a lot of oils in them and they can stay uh, longer without drying out. The top dries out, so then that can cause separation right there at the neck joint or cause it to crack right along there. A lot of those glue joints start to fail just because of the different woods uh, shrinking or expanding at different rates. So something we're cautious of, I always attribute to an oil change. You, you could drive your car for years without changing the oil and never have a problem, but it's common sense uh, maintenance to make sure every three to six months, depending on if you're doing a full synthetic, you're, you're re, uh, putting new oil in there. Same thing with the humidipacks. They're kind of a set it. Every, check them out now and you'll know when they've gone bad. They've, they actually become kind of hard and before that they're really jelly-like. jelly, uh, jelly -like. So you can check them really quickly when you pull your instrument out see that they're still good. And then when they're starting to get stiff, it's time to get a refill pack and be ready to, to put those back in there. Just great maintenance. If you get a crack or some major repair in there, you're probably going to wish that you had humidified it, and that's why we like to uh, educate. A lot of people that bring the instruments in here say, I was never told I'm supposed to humidify my instruments. So we wrote a whole blog on why to do that and why it's important. You can check that out on our website. We have a whole bunch of blogs there. We've got some great blog content all about trying to help this acoustic instrument community. We're talking about different bands, different venues, different manufacturers, uh, care and maintenance, uh, the humidifying and how, how much to practice, string, which strings you should use, uh, top, I think we just released one on the top five or top ten mandolins for starters. So check those out if you haven't already read those on our website. Go to the acousticshop.com and then on the top bar there's one called The Blog. And we very creatively called it B-L-O-G-G-E, just like the shop is S-H-O-P-P-E. We've got a theme going on there. So, do we have any questions? Do we have any questions? What does Jackson talk about on these? I don't watch Jackson. Events. Events. We got events coming up. Yes, this Friday night. Uh, very cool. If you can be here in person, you want to be here. Tom Bedell, who owns Breed Love and Bedell Guitars, and also owner of Weber Mandolins, he's going to be here in the shop doing a presentation on Bedell and Breed Love instruments and talking about his uh, history in the, the uh, music industry and what he's done for music um, and the Breed Love and Bedell lines. So that's going to be very fun, and uh, we'll have some food and hors d'oeuvres and uh, some drink. So come out to that. It's going to be at 6 o'clock at 6.30 on Friday night. And then Saturday, Tom will be the keynote speaker. Uh, the Acoustic Shop is sponsoring the Earth Day Festival out at Mother's Backyard, Mother's Brewery. It's going to be the Earth Day Springfield, supporting a bunch of the local uh, community uh, clean, uh, river cleanup, parks, and uh, all, you know all kinds of environmental efforts here locally. All the funds from that event will be for that. We're sponsoring doing the sound at the acoustic stage. So there's going to be the, the main stage having acts and in between each of those. There's going to be an acoustic stage. We'll have sound set up over there. We'll have a booth set up about our new shop, shop sustainable effort uh, that we're doing here at the shop, which we're going to be kind of launching at the Earth Day Festival. So that's this weekend. Also, May 7th, in case you weren't watching yesterday, and I still got to get these tickets live, the Chapmans are going to be doing the first actual concert date that is open to the general public uh, on May 7th at the Riff. Here in town, so we're starting a new concert series called Acoustic, Ozark Acoustic. I, I gotta get this name right. Anyway, it's a new concert series where we're gonna be doing a whole bunch of acoustic acts, bringing them through, and it could be uh, Americana acts, it could be uh, uh, bluegrass acts, anybody that's really mostly acoustic centric. We're gonna be inviting them to come be a part of this concert series. We're kicking it off with a Chapman's concert, so that's gonna be uh, a, a couple sets on uh, Saturday, the 7th of May. So you want to check that out. We're going to have some pre-sale tickets available online and here in the shop. And then there are obviously some tickets available at the door. But very excited about getting that concert series started. Once I remember what the name of the concert series is, we'll tell you. And it'll be in the, the comments of this as well. Um, other than that, uh, to, uh, join us tomorrow, for the show. tomorrow we're going to be doing the, uh, we do a long format uh, shop. live shop talk. And that's where John, Jason, and I sit down with a couple or a few instruments play songs, play song requests, answer questions, um, just have a little chit-chat. Chit -chat. It's Shop Talk, and that's going to be on Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, uh, Twitch, and uh, Tinder, I believe. I, one of those. Anyway, uh, what's that? OnlyFans. OnlyFans, yes. We'll have an OnlyFans site set up for that as well, and uh, Patreon. Um, <laughs> we're just, we're just, yeah, we're going to put it on every possible outlet.
Ch tune in for the, tomorrow at noon, correct? Noon? Yes, noon. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And then New Guitar Thursday as well. So it's, it's a great thing if you're having your lunch break at work, a great way to spend your lunch, eating your lo mein and watching Shop Talk. And then what was the next, the other one? New Guitar Thursday. New Guitar Thursday will also be tomorrow, or yeah, Thursday. Tuesday. Yeah, today's Tuesday, isn't it? Yeah. Takeover Tuesday with Jackson. I'm your host, Jeremy. It has been a long two days this week. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of staff getting out with the sickness this week. Um, but we're, we're making do and a lot of stuff selling. We've been uh, new products coming in and going really quickly. We do have, I was playing the Gibson F9. We have two of those left. We have sold one of those. We sold the uh, Gibson Varnish Fern. And we do have the F5, uh, F5G still available. Um, but I know those won't last long because we've been getting a lot of calls on those. Uh, just looking forward to the rest of the week and this weekend especially. It's, good. it's a lot of stuff getting ready to set up for those. Friday night here at the shop, Tom Bedell, if you're available, be here. Otherwise, it will be on all these channels live as well, and you can ask questions. If you have a question for Tom about Bedell guitars, about Breed Love guitars, about what they're doing up in Bend, Oregon, um, be a great time to ask him. And then Saturday, if, you, if you're free, uh, Earth Day Springfield will be over at Mother's Brewery. We're going to have the acoustic stage set up. You guys want to come by, be a part of that event. It's going to be a whole bunch of fun, a great a great uh, fundraiser for the uh, local environmental efforts and kind of the launch for the acoustic shops shop sustainable effort so we're going to be talking more about that as we get closer to saturday and uh after that as well all right jackson hope you get feeling better i'm going to teach you how to play sweet child of mine when you get back i i noticed you've been struggling on that for at least a year now uh tomorrow is jackson's uh one year anniversary so jackson welcome i hope you make it till tomorrow uh and you're still employed here so we can celebrate one year. No, it's gonna be great. We're gonna have some kind of cake and candles or something for him. Anyway, uh, Jackson's one year anniversary tomorrow and he's still working on a sweet child of mine. I think it's time that I teach it to him just uh, so he quits struggling. Anyway, thank you guys for the Takeover Tuesday. I'm your host, Jeremy, for Jackson. See you guys next Tuesday with Jackson.